Welcome back. Football is back. And so are the grumpy old Reds. Let's get into it. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to finally some real football, man. If I have to watch Southgate in a dugout ever again, man, I will just... I ain't even English, man. Scotland. But bloody hell, I feel for you English people watching that crap. I really... That was funny. I've got to interrupt you. That was very funny, though, when... Uh... I don't know if it's. I think it, I don't know if it's twist or most. It was a Scotland manager. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. McTominay all the way. I hope you guys yeah. are doing well. Welcome back to the Premier League. And, and look we, who we found lurking. Richie boy, how are you, bud? Um, I'm good. Um, speaking of Southgate, he was linked to us as well. So I'm glad it, <laughs> that, that scenario is over. He's Would you remember that, that Southgate? Fit, that'd, fit, though, wouldn't it? that'd fit being an ex Palace legend. Uh, fit. No, 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 no. I don't care about this. Um, what do you call it? Sympathy and ex. I don't care for all that stuff. He's crap. Would you rather have Southgate or Cooper? Cooper. Yeah, I would. Interesting. I would. Interesting. I would. Interesting. Hey, don't you lot start on on my boys, right, Jordy? Right, you're literally a spitting distance away. From Scotland, so don't you start on my boys, okay? Anyway, that's what they call them, isn't it? Geordie's jocks without brains. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone there, he's gone there. Okay, we've got a lot to get into. You guys have been crazy with the likes on the last two videos, so let, let's try and get like 300 likes tonight. And uh, can we start? Can we start with Santa Claus underneath me here, mate? <laughs> What what is this? Is Ant growing a beard? Says Cujo. What what we got there, Ant? What's going on? Are you turning Muslim? Or well, something? in our last in our last uh, stream, we had a lot of hilarity discussing beards, and I was very anti beard, um, and I said I can't grow one anyway, and when I do, I look like Santa Claus. So I thought I'd give everybody a bit of a giggle, one night only. Although people have people have well, no, I've disappeared. I'm a, people frozen. have suggested, <laughs> yeah. I'm still, I'm still, we can still hear you. We can still hear. Yeah, YouTube. Hey, yeah, YouTube. You're so yeah, cheesy, yeah. though, man. You've frozen in the most cheesiest <laughs> position. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, yeah. I've got to come in again, but before I come, uh, piss before off. I do, uh, yeah, people, are, somebody actually suggested I try it for another week, so it's under consideration. Uh, uh, I, I think. If you want and to continue the beard growth experiment, we'll do a poll on it in a second. Uh, Jordan, straight away with the 199. Thank you so much, Jordan. Hey, boys, hope you're all good. I like that stubble, Ant. No, oh, Ant's gone, mate. Ant's gone. He'll be back in just a <laughs> second, no doubt. Uh, let's give Rich some love as he will be depressed tomorrow night, says Mark. Will you, Rich? Will you? <laughs> I mean, if we get a point, then I'm a very happy guy. <laughs> really? Point. It's got to that stage. It's got to that stage. You've got to think points got points to yeah. Why you weren't here, Ant? Why you weren't here, someone you may know is calling you Uncle Albert. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, you can get. I'll call him. Hang on. Let me think of somebody. What was that guy? Who he looks like Gru. Who... He looks like Gru from the Minions, doesn't he? He looks a bit like Gru from the Minions. Yeah. <laughs> What's that guy who... Bus... Bad manners from Bad Manners. What was his name? No, no. nobody knows Bad Manners. Hey, someone in what, the chat. What, what uh, decade are we talking? Probably the eighties, nineties. They were very big for a little while. Bad Manners. Uh, chat, chat, just just help him out, please. Now, and I'm saying this. Nah, that's Nathan. Nathan. Don't tell me that's not Nathan. <laughs> no, that's no, Nathan. that's not Nathan. That's Nathan. Nathan. <laughs> no. That's Nathan. <laughs> no, bring up, bring up Buster Blood Vessel from Bad Manners. Go on. Bust a blood vessel. <laughs> in Buster, the eye. <laughs> as in the name Buster. Buster Blood oh, Vessel. Oh, Buster. I think he said Buster Blood Vessel. <laughs> no, Buster Blood Vessel. <laughs> He's going to hate me for this. <laughs> is that that's not Nathan. That's not it. <laughs> anyway. no, I'm just talking about the size of him, not his actual look. 
Okay, uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on. We got we got a lot to talk about. Oh god! And speaking of hairy, here he comes. How speaking are you? Of bitch? Bitch? Hairy. Speaking of bitch. I'm hairy. You had another haircut. As... No, you, well, about a week ago, yeah. But admit it. How yeah, many people that's, tuned that's in fresh. today and thought Ez has let himself go when Rich was on there? Because I switched on. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, evening, guys. What's you saying, Sorry Rich? For the Don't but take Rich, that. <laughs> Wait, you wait, you say this. Rich, show your hair. Oh show my god, hair, mate. Sorry, I just noticed. I just Look at noticed. That, beauty. Uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I wasn't laughing. Yeah. Um, wait, was Ed, are you talking beard, than Rich? Is that your beard? Ed's... Is that a beard, Ant? Well, mm, <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I called it um, stubbly bum fluff, is what I called it. <laughs> hold on, I'm just going to go back to this. Wait, hold on. Ed, are you claiming you're darker than Rich? No shots. No, I wasn't going there. I wasn't going there. Like you you can... went there. I was going there. Yeah, there you there. go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the teeth look good, Rich. The teeth look good, mate. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. Matthew with the six months. Thank you so much, man. If you're well, buddy. All right, let's 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 move on. Let's move on. And of course, crypto is on holiday. Yeah. The big cheese over there oh, in where are you, crypto? Let the let the world know. Uh, I'm in uh, Mallorca, so I don't know what time it is here. <laughs> I don't, I've got like three different things saying three different time zones. I think it's half ten. Well, I thought you was out your out your mind on drinking drugs, but no, it's your your clocks, is it? <laughs> well, that, that was earlier on. It was sobered up by now. <laughs> <laughs> all right let, let's get football talking let's get football so we've done all the jerking each other off right big match tomorrow yeah last time we played palace last season beach mode on hence why i've got my lovely little hawaiian top it's in the post and then talk to me answer your door right yeah, no i know we did play this season by the way yeah, no, but Rich, Rich, we can both agree that's one of the worst games of football we've ever seen, man. <laughs> I have blocked out my brain. I've, I've blocked that game out, man. That was fed, awful. The, the game last, end of last season weren't any better anyway. It was <laughs> the interaction between the fans. <laughs> the game yeah, yeah, off the yeah, field yeah, was yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah do you know what it is? It was a bit different last year. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the only thing I remember from that Palace match at your place this season was Murillo's run. Yeah, exactly what I think yeah. just said. That was it. That was like the highlight yeah. of the match. We lived off it for the next two weeks. But it was weird. Like when I was doing the Predictor League earlier on, and we were talking about when Forrest got last penalty against Brighton, I'd blocked that game completely out of my mind. I went back and watched the highlights of it. And it's just this zone at the end of Cooper's reign where it was just like, I was only here in body and not in spirit, man. Mm. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping these nine cup finals go our way. But let, let's kick this up. I want to start it with Henderson, right? Our boy, Dean Henderson. <laughs> and his head <laughs> drops. I want to, because I, we spoke to D earlier, I shout out to D earlier in the week. And he was saying to me that the Palace fans are not sold on Henderson whatsoever. And you're all big man Sam Johnson. And now he's out injured. Hendo's stepping in. Like, I would say, boys, correct me if I'm wrong, but the majority of the Forest fan base were endeared to Hendo last season. Yeah, Definitely. rightly or wrongly, I think just as a connection, we, we had one with him. What mm -hmm. is it about Hendo that's not clicking with you lot down in old London-ish? Well, look, he's a good shot stopper. I give him Is he? But he's as long as he's not outside been, the box. He, he has been for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> his biggest issues for me are uh, he's just not combining of his box and his kicking. Yeah. His kicking sets yeah. up the opponent's attacks, mm. <laughs> and it's a big problem <laughs> for us. <laughs> we're, we're not the most, I mean, uh, since Glass has come in, we've become a lot more progressive with the football, we've been playing a lot better. But we had Roy, remember? <laughs> so imagine <laughs> Henderson kicking it out to the opposition in a Roy system. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's chaos. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully, in this new system, we'll have a bit more joy with him. But um, yeah, with Johnston, with his kicking, his kicking literally is, a, is an attack. Yeah, he's so good with his feet, you know, and um, it, it helps to release the pressure. Our centre backs can pass it to Johnston and not really. Oh, I'm here and I can't be heard. Well, let me check more audio. 
can we can, hear. I can hear you. I can, oh, hear. I can hear you. Yeah, you Unfortunately, can hear. we can hear. <laughs> All right, testing, test. Any better? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was well, good. It was good, bro. <laughs> Ah, okay, now, now you've muted yourself. <laughs> what are you doing? You were fine before. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Wait, hold on, hold on. I've turned this the wrong way. There you go. That's now? good. That's all no, good. That's all good. I turned it, I turned it the wrong way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, what do you call it? Um, Bill like Henderson. We, we pass it. Yeah, exactly that. We pass it to Henderson, and um, it's like nerves. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Man, man, we had Matt Turner. We know what you mean. Believe you me. I'm, I'm hearing yeah. that cells ain't that great either. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. No, it's out, no, right. playing it's out good, from the back. Oh, it's been, I, it's think, been I think fun. his distribution's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And, and look at what we're comparing it to, Rich. We're comparing yeah. it to Turner and Vlacodemus, who've been absolutely yeah. piss poor this season. So anything, yeah. honestly, any, any some, a goalkeeper that can move off his line is a, is a bonus. But I just wanted to go back onto Hendo's situation. Because what Hendo did manage to do when he was at Forest last season was endear himself to the fans. Yeah, it started yeah. with a penalty save against West Ham. You know, um, he had a couple of penalty saves, didn't he? It wasn't just the one. Uh, I think he saved two out of four. Four. Penalties. Well, technically, as he did save one that he didn't. It, well, he didn't save it. It was against Palace. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Zaha, yeah. the worst penalty Zaha, ever. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, he did things to try and endear himself, and he was a bit of a cheerleader for us even when he was on the pitch and definitely towards the end of the season. But is he doing anything like that at Palace? Is he trying to um, endear himself to the fan base or is it just, he's just doing a job, basically? Yeah. And once again, it's the Roy factor doesn't help. And I think like mm. the Palace fan base are going to give him the benefit of the doubt from tomorrow because now it's a Glasner, um system. Like against Man City away, he was incredible. He literally kept us in the game. Mm -hmm. And then... Just went on a run. We went on a run where I think we conceded like 20 goals in like five or six games or something like that. You know, it was really bad. But like I said, I don't want to just solely blame that on Henderson. It was Henderson, it was the defense, it was just Roy. <laughs> you know, um, but I think if we're nitpicking, we're saying he's not coming out for crosses, and when he does come out for crosses, it's flappy wrists, um, his kicking's shocking. So yeah, I guess we just have to wait and see. Like um, Johnson came back in, and like everything just looks good again, you know, especially yeah, with yeah. this Glatter system. So, yeah, yeah, Only it's it's interesting what Rich is saying, crypto. Because are we guilty of doing that quite a lot as a Forest fan base, overhyping a player better than he actually is? I'm thinking of the likes of Hendo. I'm thinking of the likes of Yates, for example. I'm thinking some might uh, say. About those players, Brennan yeah. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's let's be honest. Henderson didn't want to go to Palace anyway, did he? He's a he's a Forest boy. He wanted to stay at, stay at Forest. He did. That's so, true. Um, we couldn't we couldn't really take the risk at the end of the day. I mean, he we we thought he was injured, and he has been injured for a long time. So, I know some people say we should have caught a uh, captain, but you can't you can't take a risk like that. Mm. Um, we definitely do overhype players. Um, you know, we're saying that. Well, actually, maybe I was going to say we're saying Alang is the best winger in the league, but that's probably just me. Um, but you know, we, we think Murillo is the best best centre back in the league, etc. And every other club would argue against it. But I, I rated Henderson. I thought he was really good. Um, and it's a shame because he did he did want to stay. But if you're injured, what can you do? I think with, with Cells, he's he's a good replacement. I don't think he's quite good at shot, quite as good at shots. Uh, trying to speak. Shot uh, stopping. That's, that, that's the uh, mojitos kicking in, and that you were mentioning <laughs> earlier. Um, <laughs> those uh, strawberry mojitos have been having order. Um, yeah, shot stopping. He's not. He's probably not quite as good as uh, Henderson at that. But I think Sells' distribution is pretty, pretty bang on. Um, he was setting up some good counter attack cells in mm. a few games ago. So. I don't think I don't I don't really have a problem with sales to be honest. But yeah, Henderson I think was a miss for us. And if we could have kept him, we, we would. He probably would have been one of the first names on the team sheet. But as I, I, I really don't want to open this debate, but we'll open it for mm. two minutes, right? Mm. Had Forrest not disrespected quote unquote Samba, yeah, mm -hmm. and paid him the wages that he wanted. When when yeah. you look back at it, if you look at how much we spent on goalkeepers 
um, Hendo with his salary on loan. And we got Navas in. You got Hennessy in for a couple of million. Who we had since then? Turner for nine million. Vlacadimas for about the same. Then we've had to bring in cells as well. We've spent nearly 25 to 30 million mm. on keepers, which is basically our breach of FFP, right? Do, I don't want to do this debate, but like, should we have just been better with Samba? Would you have settled for that? Oh, 100% we should have been. I mean, I don't know if I can say what, what we actually offered him, but we offered to double what his wages were in uh, in a championship. Bearing in mind his wages in the championship were less than 10 grand. So we doubled. Yeah, I think, that, that, I think it was 5 to 10k, wasn't it? To exactly. put it in perspective. So basically, right, the figure was that we offered him 13 and a half k to be a Premier League goalkeeper when he single-handedly got us to the final. Let's, let's not forget mm -hmm. that. He single-handedly, well, obviously his saves in the penalty shootout got us to the um, playoff final. And, and the then, save in the last couple of minutes, man. That was one was oh, ridiculous. That, that was a, yeah, yeah, that was a game changer. Ma match winning save, wasn't it? Yeah, or, we yeah. would not have made it to. Uh, but just, yeah, to, just to, put it, to put it in perspective, though, you've got, he's got his peers like Joe Royal at that time getting paid twenty k, and he, you know, he yeah. can't even. Yeah, get yeah, the there can be no fault on There can be no fault yeah, on can't even, No, he can't even get on the starting lineup for like hair transplant FC. So you've got to put it in in, in perspective. It, yeah, I mean, what we did. Wolf, Wolf no, said you don't want to open a d debate. I don't think it is a debate. I think no, it's not Forrest a debate. Fans, yeah, no, I think debate. Forrest fans, if they knew the truth, they would all be up in arms about it because it was actually disgraceful the way we treated him. And without a doubt, he was not only, I feel, Premier League ready, he wanted to prove a point as well. And he, he had that shithousery about him that I loved. I loved that. You know, he... He knew how to waste time. He knew how to do certain things to get under the skin of the opposition. And sometimes you need a character like that. And if it's your goalkeeper, you know, it can really influence a game. And he influenced games towards the end of that season, that promotion push. So I think I was a disgrace what, how we treated him. And we're reaping the... Well, we're seeing what's happened as a result. As you said, the money we've spent on goalkeepers is basically what we're over in F FPSR, you know. So it's absolutely a joke what we did, and it would have saved us millions of pounds. But uh, you can't go back on it, but it is something that we should have dealt with at the time. And I'd, who who advised whoever it was in the um, recruitment team or in the management team to offer that? amount to because he wouldn't he wouldn't even discuss it after that once they'd put that on the table yeah he shut yeah, up shop. It, was, it was an insult wasn't it and i think i agree with his stance um i just I, i'm yeah. just embarrassed that we did that personally it's like, right, well, it's like, well let's not go down this rabbit hole right because it's got nothing mm. to do with the game let's jump back to this henderson one because i put the question get your votes in guys would you take henderson back at forest 54 percent say mm. no 46 percent say yes um, Nick, what's your name again? And it's the beard. It's the beard. Would you take Hendo back? Or are you happy I yourself? Just, I, I voted and I was surprised at myself that I voted no because I've always been quite a Henderson fan, but reality has kind of kicked in. He has had a lot of injuries. Palace fans aren't over enamored with him. And what Rich points out is absolutely true. His distribution is actually quite awful. Mm. He does let in goals from outside, so mm. outside the box on a regular basis. He doesn't really command his area that well. So, you know, when I look back, I think, was I being drawn in by the passion, the, the, the tub something yeah. and the, you know, because that does that does affect the way you look at a player. It mm -hmm. really does. Um, and if I, but if I strip those away, I do kind of think, I think Sells is do, doing just as, just as well. I don't think he's done anything mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. no, I, I wouldn't have him back. But Partly because only... of his injuries as well, I have to say. That Not looks one like a recurring thing. One consideration is his age, though. He's a lot younger than Sells, I think. Yeah, I'm not bothered. So about, I'm not bothered about long -term. Three years time script. I'm not, I'm not bothered. I'm not, I don't yeah, expect any five players to stay. Yeah, but we're not talking yeah. 30 years time. I'm talking maybe like anyway. one or two if years he got time. Good, if he got good and played well for some of the big, some of the club who's got... Can I just very quickly, I wanted to bring this up whilst I'm on the subject. Very, very quickly, I promise. Here we go. I watched, Gold, I watched Goldbridge, who is like the biggest YouTuber, sports fan YouTuber in the world. So I watched him the other day and I thought this just exemplifies the issues that teams like Forest and Palace and many others have got when they come into to this Premier League and try to compete. He was saying, I don't think we should get Elise for 50, 50 million because we've got six other positions that, that need addressing before for a winger. Fair enough. And we've only got around 250 million to spend. 
Now, come on, how the fuck are we supposed to compete with that? 250 million to spend. That's under the PSR rules. When yeah. it goes on to the, under the next rules, it will be endless. Man, Man City have said that they will have five hundred million pounds a season to spend under the new rules. How hell with us with our petty little hundred and twenty million pound income supposed to compare with that? Honestly, Does it that... sickens me. I'm getting, I am I'm getting sick of fucking football and the Premier League in general because it's all about money. Sorry, I went mm -hmm. a bit just, just just on top of that, quickly. Goldbridge had said Goldbridge had said previously that he wouldn't even spend sixty million. Which potentially is the release clause for Elise now on him. Mm. And I'm thinking you spent 90 on Anthony, <laughs> 40 mm -hmm. on Ahmad, who don't play, hey, listen, 60 man, or 70 listen, on man, Sancho. I don't, agree, I don't I go agree with a lot of stuff <laughs> today, but I was just bringing the point up that he was like, he yeah. said, we've only got 250 million pounds to spend. It's mad, isn't it? But does that before worry you, Rick? Before, before player sales, mind you. So what's mm. it going to the new rules? Honestly, it stinks, but. We shouldn't. But Rich, does that worry you about Elise and Eze? Because they're, I always say to, to you guys, they're your Morgan Gibbs White when you speak to opponent fans who don't bother watching football. They're, they're just instantly, if you say to anyone who's the best players, about, oh, oh, Elise Eze, they don't know about Decore, they don't know about some of your mm. defenders, etc. But is is it is it that true? Do you think that one one or both will go this summer? And if they do, are you screwed? Um. It's difficult to say whether we're screwed or not because I think recruitment's been good for us. Like, we, we do recruit mm. well. But you're losing Dougie Friedman as well, our boy. It's a man you, apparently, aren't you? Mm. That, that, that would be the biggest blow. Mm. Honestly, because if we are going to lose the likes of Eze and Lise, I'm going to add Chet DeCorey and Mark Gay into that, front, that bracket. If we lose, they say, two out of the four and we have no Dougie, we're going to end being problems because Dougie is the one that finds great talent from the championship and now abroad yeah, for cheap. Mm. You know, we signed Elise for 8 million. We signed Eze for like 12. We signed Decore for like 16. Mark was 18 million and they're all going to potentially go off for 60 plus, you know? Um, and then we just start off, start again. But yeah. How I, much I did of, you get that Watson guy for? Cause he's impressed me. Um, he is he was quite expensive, eight, wasn't he? He's about 18, 18, plus, 18 plus four. Yeah. yeah. And that was Dougie Freeman again. Yeah, but he, he really looks <laughs> he really looks the part. Rich, how long has he been in that role? Because it's only his name's only just coming January. up now. January, yeah. Um, he was at Wharton. No, yeah. uh, how long's um uh, Dougie Freeman Dougie. been in the role? Sorry. Oh, oh no, Dougie's yeah. been there for, for years. That's what I mean. He's only getting a recognition now if you want to nick him, yeah. you know, but it'd been very under, you know, he's been doing his job on, behind the scenes. He's been doing his job for a long yeah. time. But I think mm. once once Vieira signed and we got the likes of Eze, Elise, Gay in that season, and well, Eze was the season before, I think that's when it's like, oh my gosh, wow, mm. look at what you can get from the championship. You know, and that's when you start to get noticed. And just to confirm, he's out tomorrow, yeah? Because I'm hearing all kinds of room about Elise. Yes. Elise is back in training. He's not playing in the next two games, according to the manager. 100%. He said, he said tomorrow's no too soon. No shithousery, nothing like that. He's out. He said, he said tomorrow's too soon, and he said Bournemouth is too soon as well. I believe, I believe Bournemouth, that. Never, never Bournemouth, trust is, never Bournemouth trust is a that. chance. I, he's been, he has mm. trained. I, I will say I agree. He's trained. I don't think he, we'll see him play tomorrow. Would you expect to see him on the bench tomorrow, though, at all? Oh, I would more so see him on the bench on Tuesday. Okay, if yeah. let's hope so. Rich, if you're lying, you ain't coming back. <laughs> ain't coming back yeah. <laughs> I did. I did a presser on this this morning. Yeah, I saw <laughs> it. I saw it with your hair there, all zoomed in on you. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. Thank huh? you very much. Thank you very much. And I said the same thing. <laughs> he may not be available for both games. No, he's definitely not available tomorrow. Ali Alisa, get... Alisa and Eze together though this season they scored twelve goals for you, which is. Do you want to know how many games they played together out, this season? Scored less goals than Sheffield United. Yep. You want to know how many games they've played all season together? Three. Five. Is 12. Five, Five. games. Bloody three, hell. I think three in the league, two cup. They're quality players, Five. aren't they? Simple as that. Five games players. all season. Yeah. We have struggled. <laughs> yeah. 
So when they're not in the team, and I don't want to make this about Elise and Eze, yeah, you're saying you're struggling. Is that when they're both out or can you cope with just having one in? So tomorrow, for example, you yeah. probably have Eze in. Is that mm. enough for you to feel a bit more confident? It, it is, especially with our new system. Because um, our fullbacks are now key to our attack. Like Munoz, Munoz being fit this week is massive because we had a bit of a scare midweek. You told me he was out. Until the presser today, we found out he's in. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't listen to the presser, did you? It was too. It was too bamboozled <laughs> by your hair, mate. Yeah, yeah. The it was, thing it about was the hair. And hold on, hold on a second. I messaged <laughs> you as well and said, um, "Wrong phone." Um, he did as well. You <laughs> and said, "Oh, we've got confirmation. We're just fit." <laughs> Oh, yeah, my confirmed predicted 11. Yeah, I saw that, man. But I was on the toilet. I didn't really read really it. <laughs> Sorry. I I was gonna, delete I that, that. Delete. That. Edit. 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 <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's get back into it. Right. Let's swiftly move on to some forest stuff, right? And. Title of this is wait. Let's just do the super chats quickly. Uh, quickly, just change the subject. Someone, uh, Jordan with the seven months, the best live stream there is on YouTube. Not after that one. <laughs> Thank you so much for the seven months. And uh, Sharky with the two pounds, all for the beard, and makes you look as old as me. He says. I think Sharky's got color in that beard though. Look at his color. He's still got a bit yeah, of color. He's a cheat, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, it's a cheat. Yeah, you wait yeah. till it's pitch black next week. <laughs> <laughs> and right, I want to start. I want to start talking about Rainer, right? And before I do, don't forget that you can win your signed, trained Rainer shirt, a bit like my one here. The link's pinned in the chat from Football Prizes, and they've done it again. They've made the Felipe shirt, signed Felipe shirt, the Insta win prize. If you hit ticket number 18, I will hate you forever because you will get the Felipe shirt right here, number 18. And on top of that, they've put a bank holiday discount. So the prices are now down to 316. So if you want to grab yourself the Rainer shirt, for me, it would be that Insta prize. If you get ticket number 18, let me know so I can block you from the channel. But that's there. That that, that shirt's got to be and the cleanest shirt in the forest dressing yeah. room because of the lack yeah. of use. I was going to say, guys, get in there quick because neither of them will be here next season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I want to get onto this debate. Would you start Rainer tomorrow? And what's your thoughts on this Rainer? Because he had a good international break. Now we all know that means nothing. Yeah. yeah, and anyone who gets the ticket, let me know what number you get. I want to know how close you do get to um, the ticket. But what would you start him? Let's start with that question then. And chat, no, what would you do? Start, I wouldn't start him because only because I would start MGW behind Chris Wood, Hudson Adoy, and Alanga. That that's the only reason. I think that that front four have proven that they're capable of getting goals, and they're a good front mm -hmm. four. However. For me, is how did our beautiful ex manager used to say, next man on the rank is Rayner. He's the person that I would bring in. I don't want to see any shit, by the way, that we saw in Luton, where we were goal up con controlling the game and we mm. decided to go to a back five and put a central, uh, a, a defensive mm. midfielder in attack. I yeah. don't want to see that. For me, these last nine games are his audition for me. I need to see that he's the manager for us going forward. I need to see that he's going to adopt the kind of policy that won us games against Newcastle United and Manchester United when we looked a very good team and we didn't sit back. Even when we went ahead, we didn't sit back. What I don't want to see is the Cooper-esque style games that we've been seeing lately, especially for away from home, mm -hmm. where we've gone ahead and then sat back and inev <coughs> inevitably conceded. If we're when we play, I'm going off on a bit on one, aren't I? I don't know, I can't even remember the question. Mm, I don't mind. When we the, play Richard's team truth. tomorrow, if we go one nil up and it's 75 minutes gone, I do not want to see a whole lot of defensive changes made because if we do, they will score because they score all their goals from free kicks and, and crosses. That's the only way Crystal Palace score. Am I right, Rich? So, yeah. No. No, 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 you're wrong. We're terrible at set pieces. He said that that's the only way they score goals. I trusted your fellow Palace fan. Oh no, no, no! They no from corners. You haven't scored from a corner since in, since oh, Vieira's time. 
Fair enough, because I'll be honest, I don't watch games. Palace. So I'll be honest, right? I don't watch <laughs> them. I, I rely on, I rely on people like Two hundred and four corners uh, uh, to inform me, and if they if they tell lies, that's not my fault, right? So. <laughs> But even so, it doesn't matter if they can't score from a corner or a free kick or a cross. They will tomorrow if we sit back. <laughs> yeah, they will against that. Forest. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if we're one nil up with 75 minutes to go, I want to see us bring on another. I want to bring see, see us bring on Reina. I don't want to see us go into our shell because we will concede. We always do. 19 is it? Yep. Is it 19 this season? So it could be 20 tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, but so, I, 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 we don't. <laughs> <laughs> that for me is an in, will be an indicator of whether Nuno Espirito Santo is the right man for the job at Forest. If he fucks it up again tomorrow, he can go. Not now, but at the end of the season, he can go. He ain't the man for us. We need a man that can reproduce the kind of form that he, he produced when he first came. Why, so, why does it to have, answer your why question, does it have to be? To answer your question, I wouldn't start <laughs> yeah. him because I have, I have faith in that front four, but I would certainly bring him on later in the game. Without yeah, any shadow of doubt, he must come on. He must come on tomorrow at some point with a, a reasonable amount of minutes, so we can judge for ourselves. Well, what are you saying, Crypto? Gone. I'm saying start them both. Start MGW uh, in the midfield mm. as a playmaker and put Rayner in the ten. That's what I want. Are you dropping? I'm, I'm are you dropping? Yeah. Who are you dropping? I'm dropping Yates. I'm dropping Yates. Who's who's probably likely going to start, right? If not, no, you're you not. Yeah, you're, you're kind of. No, you're not. Okay, wait. So who's playing? Who's playing the six? So I'd have, I'd have. I want to see Dominguez and uh, or or Sangare and MG Dub next to each other. So you are you're Change. dropping Dominguez then, aren't you? Or Sangare? Yeah, but it's better to say I'm dropping Yates. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody wants to see Yates play. Would any chat? Would anyone do what Crypto's saying? Because I kind of like it, but I'm scared of it. Do you think it's a bit too attacking? But so you're saying MGW in the eight alongside, say, Dominguez or Sangare, and then Rayner in the ten, and then Alanga and Hudson no, and Doyle left and me. right. No, 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 no. Not for me. It's it's Sorry, an attacking dude. formation, though, isn't it? We need to, we need to start getting some points on the board. I'm fed. I'm fed up of this like half-hearted, you know, trying to win. But then, as Ant says, you go one 0 up and sit back. We need to we need yeah, to win the game it, properly. Tactics, we need to keep personnel. scoring. Yeah, I know, but it's the personnel as well. You've got to create create the chances. We said before the uh, I can't remember what game it was. Uh, was it Luton. what game was it? Bournemouth game. Luton. Uh, you know, you saw them get turned over. All you have to do is keep attacking them, and instead he, he decided to go defensive. I don't want to see that tomorrow. I want to see attacking progressive football. I want to see players pushing up the pitch. MGW is a perfect playmaker to do that. Um, and I think dropping MGW would be a risk. But at the same time, some of these new guys are having a brilliant international break. Um, so I wouldn't just be wanting to start Reina, but you know, potentially people like Ribeiro as well, just to give us something slightly different. I, I don't because... know. I just think it's this is us being guilty of hyping up players who aren't in the team again. So it's, it's another kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, but we, never, we never see them though, do we? I know, if we but don't I see wouldn't them, be if we don't give them a chance, then I wouldn't be looking to change our entire shape just to accommodate that. I, yeah, I don't I mean, think we're getting the be I don't think we're getting the best out of MG Dub by doing that. I, I definitely take him off set pieces. Um, but oh yeah, yeah, so. I, I, Nico Williams I don't on. know. It, it doesn't work for me. You've got to put Nico think... Williams on set pieces. Yeah, yeah okay, but definitely should. But, be. Ez, but what are you no, doing wouldn't... on the Rainer thing? What are you do? Are you Rainer I... in or out? I, I like Rayner, but I wouldn't be dropping, uh, changing the shape and dropping MG Dub back to an eight to accommodate um, Rayner. In but he line. did that. MG Dub did that in, was it the Newcastle game? Was it the Bournemouth game? I can't remember. He did that and he looked quite good in that position. I know. Really unless they've been working on it. Unless they've been working on it. And he's, he's certainly had the time to work with the majority of the, the squad uh, over these last couple of weeks. Unless they've been working on that shape. Uh, now... Uh, I think now, I mean, and kind of to oppose a little bit what Ant said, I'm not too bothered about um, Nuno's style of play. I, we need to get results. We need to get results from these last nine games. I really don't give a shit how we play. I don't. I think it's gone to the point where... It's, it's the whenever point. we got results playing defensively, as No, I know, but I'm saying that's not going to be my focus on, on Nuno. If Nuno does enough to keep us up, that's all he needs to do. And then we, then we reevaluate. it. Who did that last year, mate? No, exactly. And then we reevaluate it in the summer. But I'm not really, the style of play isn't what I'm bothered about. But I certainly wouldn't be looking to be changing something. Yeah, but the style of play is costing us. 
I know, but we've been calling. We still haven't seen Dominguez and Sangare yeah. together. We yeah. still haven't seen it. Yeah. And now, now we're talking about changing the shape altogether. Let's see that. Ooh. If that doesn't work, I'll shut up forever about it. But I haven't Ooh. seen it to be able to say it that won't work. But I think Let's it will work. For Go me, on. I would play Reina. I'd drop a Langa. I don't know. I know Crypto is his number one fanboy and what have you. But a Langa just... Alanga, who said, was it Nick earlier? He said he reminds a bit of, uh, or Mo, he said he reminds a bit of Adama Traore. And in so a way, I can. You're about playing him out on the wing, then, aren't you? You're not talking Rain, about. Where do you think Rainer plays internationally? He's playing out on the left. No, exactly. But uh, no, I was opposing. I was, yeah, I was opposing Crypto's idea of putting him in the 10 and dropping yeah. MGW. But I've got no problem with Reina play, playing one of the wing positions. No problem. Yeah, with but, that. Then, but, but then you drop then you drop in the pace from the wings, which is how Chris Wood wants to score. We've said it a million times before. That's what Chris Wood well, needs wingers. He's, he's yeah, not a number two. Changing the play style again. Because then Wood doesn't need people are cutting inside. He no, no, he doesn't. He, 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 he needs people the going down the wing. He needs people going down the wing, putting the ball into the box. If you put Rayner on the wing, he's going to want to cut inside and shoot himself. Chris Wood's not. No, Rainer, Rainer, Rainer's, Rainer's passing. Rainer's passing for for an assist is very very good. Yes, always has been. Yeah, but Chris Wood isn't that type of player. He needs it in the air. Rain you say that, but how many goals has he scored oh, yeah, from crosses exactly. this season? Yeah. How many? Yeah, yeah but how we've many? seen it so many times before where Chris Wood just like gets lost in the game because. It's yeah, but I think right every, I think him. everyone labels Chris Wood wrong. Everyone thinks, yeah, oh, he's I lanky, agree. therefore yeah. we must cross the ball in. I think his best mm -hmm. goals were against the goals against I'm Newcastle. I'm I'm gonna gonna say, how many headers did he score against Newcastle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Chris Wood's but link was, up yeah, but it was different that game. It, yeah, but against he's possessed, Newcastle, but... He, was, he was clearly trying to prove a point. He don't give a shit half the time. That's not true. That's not no. True. It's not, <laughs> anyway, okay. So we're not going to come to pizza. I guess what I'd ask Rich, though, Rich, what's bet, what, what's worse for Palace, I guess, from your perspective? A team that sits back against you or one that attacks you? What is the style you struggle against? Um... Depends on the team, but I would, I would rather you have possession against us tomorrow. Mm. Really? Only because I think you're more dangerous on the break. Personally, okay. I, I just take a out there. which is true. The, the pace it's you true. have going forward is yeah, uh, exactly what you did against Newcastle was actually quite frightening. It could have been about a five, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so that's right. I would rather you have possession and, and we catch you on the break because I'll, I'll, well, Mitchell ain't so much as a great fullback, but he's he's learning the, the role. He's doing all mm. right. He's more so a defensive player, but Mbunios down the right hand side, <laughs> he, he's almost he's a, he's almost a winger now, like more than I is, mm. and it's kind of as as it stands. So um, I, I would hope we play on the break, but we we'll have to wait and see. Are you better on the break? Do you think then? We are better now in this system. In this system, to be honest, Mateta's all-round game has massively improved. I, I, I don't you know hated him. Yes, I've been impressed. Uh, yeah. Don't <laughs> ask me how, but lately his all-round game, his hold-up plays yeah. better, his first touch is better. Mm. He can still be a bit more clinical. I give him that. Like he takes the harder chances than the easier ones. But because his all-round game's improved, we actually look better going forward. You know, it really does help. So I hate, and I hate kept... to say it, he's very Tyro like in the way he plays. In the because <laughs> he's not, he's not got the best yeah. touch in the world, but he's yeah, a big yeah. man. He occupies their defenders. He gets others involved in the play, and he started to score goals as well. So and key goals for them. So he does kind of remind me of Tyro a little bit. Um, but. I think you know our, our defense should be able to handle him. And if you're if you're relying on the counter attack to play against, we don't keep possession. It's been better under Nuno, no doubt about it. It's been almost <laughs> twice as good as it was under Cooper. We were getting like twenty percent possession in some games under the former manager. Mm. But um, we're not, still not the kind of t team to uh, hold on to a ball and try and break through over defense. So we can't. It, it might. We might kind of um pound this has got pound Neil written all over it. <laughs> it could be another one of those <laughs> Forest <laughs> Palace classics oh, tomorrow, uh, but where we just both stand up and give each other a ball waiting for something to happen. But so with your new with, with a new style of play, does that mean you're obviously your fullbacks are bombing on? Is that somewhere where Forest could exploit, you know, pushing it, you back the other way? It all depends on 
whether Alanga and Hudson or they cheat. <laughs> because in what sense? That naturally you'd think that our fullbacks will cover them, but they could play clever and have be attacking our right and left centre backs in Chris Richards and it's going to be Joe Ward because of our injuries. Mm. I'm going to give Joe Ward credit. In the back three, he's done okay so far. Like, he's not made a mistake yet. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's good. Yeah, he's doing stuff. So, <laughs> if I was Nuno, I would have Elanga and Callum go as close to Wood as possible and attack those centre-backs as opposed to trying to beat the wing-backs. Mm. However, if they do cheat... And don't track Munoz, especially. I know Mitchell's trying his hardest to get forward, but he's not as effective. But especially Munoz, you're going to have a problem down your left-hand side. Mm, that, that's quite interesting, Ant. Because if if Einar or Tavares are fit tomorrow, we know that both of them like to get forward. So do you potentially see this back? Because I personally think hudson Adoy has to play for the long shots against Hendo. But I also think we need an Aina or a Tavares in with him to double up. Um, but could that expose us? Do you kind of see this left-hand side for us, their right-hand side being the, the battleground tomorrow? And Sorry, sorry, I thought you talked to Rich. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and <laughs> Callum Callum Odoi is far more likely to come inside and go against the central defender than Ilanga is. Callum Odoi does that quite often. It's part of his thing and he's very yeah. very good at it to be honest you can see why he was once rated the way he was he's definitely got the, the skill and the talent he struggles a bit sometimes with confidence if Tavares is with him then it's a double-edged sword it will give us so much more potency in our attack but it will make us weaker in defense down that right uh, right hand side of, of Palace. Aina is a better defender than Tavares yeah Tavares I think is is has got the edge going forward so it, it you know it really does depend on which one of them plays as to how vulnerable we are on that left hand side on our left hand side it could be interesting um i know munoz is uh i say i don't watch palace and i'm, I'm letting things slip <laughs> it's obvious i do but um he has been playing i think he's been playing really well lately and he is definitely a, an attacking threat and he looks all right in defense to me as well i mean i'm no expert with that but he looks he looks fine so that could be an area of vulnerability for us, but it could also be an area of strength for us. It, it, it's one of those battles, isn't it? There are key battles all over, and that's one that whoever wins that is going to have a big effect. Yeah, but um, Rich, I know it sounds weird, but I almost feel like you could swap... Um, uh, how do you say his name? Munoz. Munoz, Munoz yeah. Yeah, and IU around, because IU is pretty good defensively. And he tracks and he's quite strong in the tackle. Is that something yeah. that you, you're tending to see on the pitch? That okay, yeah, if they, Munoz goes, then IU holds and protects. Yeah, they, they've they've been brilliant together. Like it's as if they've been playing together for years, and it's been what since January, mm. you know. Um, now, granted, I mean, I think every Palace fan will tell you like we are waxing lyrical about Munoz, and it's. It's easy for others to say, oh, well, because you had Joe Ward before. I know actually this Munoz guy is actually the truth. He's really the good. truth. Bloody yeah. hell. <laughs> Listen, I'm saying it because I've had 10 years of Joe Ward at right back. Yeah. yeah what I'm about Nathan this... Klein, mate? You got Nathan Klein there. It's back up. Oh, gosh. And <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've had to deal with. But, um, Don't diss no, Forest Legends. Honestly, just um, see Munoz obviously um, attacking and um, and and like you said, his defensive work rate has, has been impressive. And um, he scored a cracking goal for Colombia, so hopefully he can score a cracking goal for us. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping you're overhyping him, and he has the shittest game ever tomorrow, <laughs> man. That would be <laughs> absolutely I'll perfect. Tell you what, a a um, Hudson Odoi versus Munoz one v one would be very very intriguing. I'm getting a little nervous now. Yeah, a little nervous. Uh, yeah, a little nervous. Yeah. It's got me a bit nervous. I'm glad I'm in my Hawaiian top. Don't forget, guys, if you want this bad boy forest Hawaiian beach top, the link's in the chat for you now. If you use code FFTV15, because if we do beat Palace, we're back out of the relegation zone. It's beach party time. FFTV15. Oh, you're calling that a bit early, aren't you? <laughs> I'm calling that early, man. <laughs> and it's time. You get 15% off with that code. Honestly, I do love this top. I'm not going to lie. It's quite nice as the sun is starting to come back in. And we're on 98 likes. 
with nearly 300 of you in here. You guys can do better than that. Come on, mate. You've been smashing it on the videos. Hit that well, like yeah, now. Ezra's well, the one flat. He does a great job. What should we go say. for? What we got in? So let's go. I think, for, yeah, let's I think 300. 300 on a live stream, guys. Come on, let's get get it. Yeah, yeah, just hit it twice. Well, I actually don't. That will cancel out your first one. Can, can I let, can't just <laughs> let the people into a little bit of backstage gossip. When we okay. when we got these when we got these shirts offered by our sponsor, our wonderful sponsor, Foco. Mm -hmm. Him up there. Oh no, I, I don't do bright colors. It won't suit me. And and will be great. It'll suit and he, He's stupid, you know. Yeah, but me, <laughs> well, no, I don't like. They got one bit right. But, Sorry, don't bro. take the bloody thing off. No, no, you know what, you know what it is, right? Come on, he's got it on. No, you know what it is, right? And I don't care if this sounds racist; it's not meant to. But I think a Hawaiian shirt looks good on a white person or a black person. I don't think me and Ez can pull it off, right? Honestly, I think if Rich <laughs> had it on, man. speak for yourself. I don't okay, think Ez can pull it off. I really don't. I think Anne can pull. I think Crypto okay, could. Guys. As well, let's do another poll. The, pro can the Ez problem with me is, it, the problem with me is, it wouldn't fit me. <laughs> they don't make sizes big enough. I've had to ask them to sew it together to make. Yeah, but they're bringing out a new range of tents next season, so you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no but I just think I just think a Hawaiian top looks good on a white person or a black person, not a brown person. No so offense racist. to Ez. Is it, I can't be racist against myself, man. But... You are, you are. Rich, can you pull off a Hawaiian top, Rich? Can you pull one off? Uh, I've never tried one, but I'll see what I can do. I, see what I, I mean, you put off a palace top, so if you can pull that shit off, you must be able to. <laughs> well, it's definitely better than a Hawaiian shirt. Look at the state. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you've got <laughs> Richmond FC's kit and you're trying to talk back oh, about a Hawaiian top, man. But anyway, is that shirt a triple? No, it's not, Nathan. <laughs> it's not. It only goes up to XL at the moment, all right? But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I've got the sunglasses ready. I got everything once we beat Palace, hopefully. Um, listen, just before we move on, oh, I, I do want to take out again. Yeah, should we get the old part? It's ready. It's ready. I'm telling you, everything is ready for us just to freaking be safe. Got, Do you remember this bad some... boy right here with the palm tree? That's all ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, just, got just, like, palm, I got some real palm, palm, tree, palm trees yeah. outside. Yeah, you got your palm trees. You'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, listen, just on a serious note, while we've got Anton, because Ant is old. Um, I just want to take a minute, and I'm sure the chat do as well. Just talk about Larry Lloyd because um, mm. for for me, he's a voice um, on Century 106. Him and Fletch back in the day when I was a kid down south, just trying to listen in. <sighs> really bad analog signal, but I just about used to get it on the radio. But I want to ask you about him and from a player perspective and what he brought to the team and what your thoughts were on the great man. Yeah, well, we bought Larry Lloyd from Liverpool. And at the time, he, I mean, he was a Liverpool star, but his star had faded. He was having a bad season or whatever. And Cluffy pulled out a stroke of absolute genius. He bought him and Kenny Burns, who was the best striker in the division, who played for Birmingham City, and turned him into a centre-back. We bought Kenny Burns was a striker, a centre-forward mm. when we bought him. And those mm. two together, when those two came out on that pitch, you didn't worry. You didn't we, we fucking hell, man. You cannot imagine how solid we were. Shilton at the back, Viv Anderson on one side, Frank Clark on the other, and Lloyd and Burns in the middle. And they took no shit from anybody. Mm. Nobody messed for them two. Players used to come onto the pitch and run away. You know, they were, as a Forest fan, it, you never worried. It was fantastic to have such magnificent, powerful, physically strong with great technical ability, players like that at the back. We won two European Cups, mate. We won the mm. league championship. We won, We would, We went 42 games unbeaten. You don't do that without a magnificent defence, more than anything. You know, having a great attack is one thing. Having a great defence means you don't lose, and we didn't lose. So we always felt confident, and it was. you saw the way the guy was built. But he was mobile, but he was built, you know. And... It's, it's a sad day because, I mean, I've met him quite a few times. I even, even met him at the pub that he used to own on New Year's Eve. We went in. There's only years in there. And we had, you know, and he was great. He was a really nice bloke. Because when he talked about anything and everything. Yeah. And it's just a sad day because we've been fairly lucky as Forest fans. Forest fans of my generation have been lucky that hardly any, there's only, hardly any, but I can only think of Trevor Francis as the only other one that's died. And that was this year, uh, well, last year. But, Mm. Apart from those two, we've been lucky, but we're getting to that stage now, aren't we? Where they're going to start dropping. Mm. 
and it, you know it's for people like me it's hard because we saw them when they were vibrant young men who were the best of the best you know so i you know i miss the guy i miss the guy obviously it's a sad day yeah just a little claim to fame from me um they were inseparable on and off the pitch burns and um lloyd and uh they used to go to my dad's restaurant all the time but i was too young to even know who they were and it wasn't until many years after my dad passed away i was shown a photo and he's got yeah kenny burns and larry lloyd sat together in the restaurant in the background um but yeah they were a fearsome i think it was mcgovern who spoke about it says look our defense was solid because if you did get manage to get through boy burns and uh lord <laughs> burns and larry right. lloyd and you had to deal with shorten that uh, shorten so they had an uh, we had an exceptional yeah. defense back in the day oh. and they weren't just hard men they were footballers as well you know they yeah. could play the ball you know you had to if you're in brian Clough's team you basically needed to be able to pass the ball. I know they could do that perfectly well. But, um, yeah, a sad day for Forrest and obviously for a generation that grew, that kind of led to what we, we were seeing now. You know, Forrest wouldn't be Forrest without what those boys, what those players achieved in that in that era. So, uh, you know, I mean, massive respect to him. And, you know, um, we just send out best wishes to his family. And, uh, you know, that's coming from yeah. everyone at FFTV. 100 percent and just final question on him man um was was him was he given the the accolades he deserved in his playing time was, was none he... of those players were but no he wasn't i mean mm. I, I remember when we won the league peter shilton got player of the year you know not from forest fans you know the the player yeah. of the year thing it was peter shilton uh, yeah the awards and no i don't think any of that forest team really got the got the credit <laughs> i don't think people actually understand what they achieved you know mm -hmm. what i mean it, it's it's astounding it was because i think the reason mainly is because of brian clough all the attention was on brian clough yeah you know with any match it was brian clough's nottingham forest brian clough mm. and don't get me wrong he deserved every single comment. that was done intentionally though wasn't it yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Well, he yeah. Took, took the limelight oh took the pressure off the players and certainly took the limelight off them as well i mean yeah, I mean, Cluffy and Larry Lloyd had a fight on the tarmac at the airport because Larry Lloyd wouldn't put his fucking tie on. <laughs> <laughs> All the other players were there in suits and ties. And Larry, no, I'm not. <laughs> Gary Bertels got kicked out of the team because he wouldn't shave his beard off. Mm. <laughs> it's, you know, there were different days. There were different days. Yeah. It, it, it's sad to see, but that does kind of coincide with what the club is doing now with the opening of the museum. And that's sold oh, out. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Bloody hell. But, you know, okay, it should have been done a lot earlier, but it's done now. Um, I think all the dates are now sold out and they're looking no. to add in some more dates. So I think, you know, no, that's a good touch um, and, from the club as well. Well, but, just a quick one. What we didn't yeah. realize at the time, actually, and me and you actually saw that being built, you know, when we went for the. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Game. We <laughs> couldn't tell. That, yeah. We, yeah. We didn't know what it was. But that's well, when, I, when I saw, saw the promo it. video, as I saw like they went into the press room and, and this room, I thought we went in all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't get to see the trophy cabinet. You know, yes. so and that's something I've always said as, as a Forest fan of 157 years season ticket holding match going Forest fan. I've never seen a trophy cupboard. I've always said it's ridiculous. I'm you know it, those trophies are ours, the fans. Mm. You know the the fans yeah. trophy. The the management, the 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 board, the chairman, the owner, they'll all come and go. Mm -hmm. We all know yeah. this. Those cups are ours, and we should have access to them. You know, we should be able to take our children and grandchildren uh, and say and talk to them about what a glorious club we have. You know, instead of being shoved away in a boardroom somewhere, it's crazy. Yeah, I am awake. This is a serious and sombre <laughs> moment. I'm constantly. Yeah. Wow, okay. Don't worry, I'm about to spin it over to Rich. Rich, how's your trophy cabinet looking? <laughs> 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 that's for him to sleep that, that that's him. Trophy cabinet. Uh, that, uh, yeah he's surrounded by the trophies in that picture <laughs> listen guys do, do me a massive favor you all know rich from beat the drop um you better all be subscribed to eagle-eyed football so i've just yeah. put the link in the chat make sure you give that a quick click 
Um, don't if Rich isn't coming back, but give that a quick click. Subscribe don't, don't to try, it. Don't try to get into my good books now. No, you said what you said. No, no, it's Rich, so you're not seeing the, so the marketing <laughs> strategy here. They will now feel sorry for you because, as Jeff is saying, as Chris is saying, dusty, yeah? And yeah. Rich is this close to getting to 2K on the channel. You guys can tip it over the edge. Come on, um, on. Now. Trust me, Rich, you'll get a few sympathy subs off our lot. So, yeah. We to... <laughs> we'll yeah. take that. <laughs> yeah, Rich will put out the popcorn some, tomorrow night once uh, he's all depressed. But make sure you're subscribed. Uh, the link's right there for you guys. Get him to 2K. And that will be a bigger achievement than his club has ever done in their history. So make sure you do you know subscribe. What? I was going to say that we're going to draw this game 1-1, one, one, fingers crossed, but I hope we beat And if we do, you best tell your friends. <laughs> hey, Rich, Rich, don't tell us all with the friends. It's, it's no, him, not no, us. Don't, 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 don't write to it. Don't write yes, to it. What have I said that isn't truthful? What have I said that's not truthful? Your, you best hope we don't win tomorrow, because I'm calling your phone. <laughs> call away call away yeah to be fair, but we're, if we're you lose really, I am, if you lose I am let's see if your phone's in, working i it always works i don't hide um right, i do right. hope i do hope we draw i don't see anything more than that to be honest <laughs> 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 well let, let's get into the game now let's get into the game and they're all subscribing they, these lot are amazing so rich if you hit 2k tonight let us know yeah that will be you know the highlight of your weekend hopefully <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist, couldn't resist. But Rich, let's get into the game, right? How do you see this one playing out? Because are you still believing you're in a relegation battle? Now with the points deduction coming far us away, with potentially Everton losing some more, you've got a bit of breathing room. But you're on 29, we're on 21. If you do lose tomorrow to Forest, we go 24, you go 29. It's a five-point gap. And I think after Bournemouth, you've got quite a tasty run-in coming up. Is your butthole going to start to pucker up if you lose tomorrow? It's going to pucker up if we don't take three points from the next two. So we have to win somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. Because, what do you call it? The, the, the last seven we have, they're mad. They're mad. The only saving grace is that Luton's run is quite mad. And Everton also play every team towards the bottom yeah. anyway. Yeah. So I think that's our saving grace. Um We'll do ourselves big favours if we can get, like I said, at least three points from the next two. Um, anything more than that, even better. And I think, yeah, if we get four points plus, I think we are... Oh, boy, who, who's who's the chef chat? <laughs> um, <laughs> Shout out, Jimmy. Oh, snap. <laughs> Jimmy, yes, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, I forgot, Jimmy. It's been a while since we did the show. Not my fault, by the way. Um, Not my fault either, Rich. Can you tell the guys in the chat how many times me and Anne tried to organise an episode, yeah, and then silence? Apart from, yeah. shout out to Rich, shout out to Statman John, and shout out to Jimmy, yeah? The rest, mm. silence. Yeah. But we will we will be sorting out. We will be yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got to do, we've got, now we're getting towards the arse end of the season. We've got, we've got, we've got to get it back. Got yeah. To get yeah. Back. yeah. Um... So yeah, like anything more than three points, then I think we'll be safe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quick fine. shout out to Polish Sharky. Sharky with a two pound sub because Rich has a better beard than me. So I don't know. I quite like Sharky's beard. I quite I, I, like I've it. I've been trying to grow this for ages. It's, like, it's stuck to here, so I've left it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, ben, Crypto. Crypto, how do you see tomorrow going, mate? Are you? I'm not, I'll be honest with you. I'm not that confident. I don't know how the rest of the fan base is feeling. I'm just uh, forest to forest. Well, give me some positive vibes, please. I'm I'm feeling confident, but only because of the tweet they put out earlier. But they've clearly got all the players to uh, retweet it, and they've given us the the story of oh, we've got to come together, and the fans have got to help us oh, get yeah, across yeah, the yeah, line, yeah. and yeah. all mm. of every every single player's like retweeted it and put it on their Instagram. So if we lose tomorrow, it's going to be a massive embarrassment. Um, so we we best win. I think. Look, they've had they've had a bit more time to get things in order. I think Nuno's got to do the basics, hasn't he? He needs to take Morgan Gibbs White off set pieces, and then we yes. need to fix set pieces at the other end. Apart from mm -hmm. that, we're pretty good. I mean, the the players on paper are, are are good. If you take them all individually, they're excellent players. There's talks of Murillo going for sixty, seventy mil, mil and Morgan Gibbs White. So we've got some decent players there, but they've got to come together as a team. And Nuno needs to get his tactics right. But tomorrow, 
at home at the city grounds after all the hype and after all the time since the last match i think we've just we've got to get those three points i wouldn't i wouldn't really be happy with the draw to be honest i think we need to push on now and start winning games um i said i said last stream that i think around 32 points will be the safety net which crystal yeah. palace can get to i think if they get one more yeah. win yeah. um but we've got to we've got to aim for that as soon as possible so i think I'm, look, I must... push on tomorrow and also, I'm sorry. Sorry. I must say that I think for us, played use directly after your points deduction is the worst time to play use. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they're hyped up. You can tell by the media profiles that they've they've obviously had a talking to, um, mm. probably from the big man Marinakis as well. So, look, tomorrow's a, tomorrow's a chance to show show the fans what you can do, and turn mm. the turn the city ground back into. Uh, uh like it'll be rocking place tomorrow. To be, and it'll, yeah it'll be rocking, it'll be rocking so tomorrow. yeah it has um, to be yeah it has he's to got be. to get it nuno's got to get it right tomorrow and the players have got to give their all and i think if we do then i think we'll we'll win and i think we'll win comfortably mm. i feel a bit riled up from what you just said there go on Sorry, ben, ben. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> it's screwed, ben. i I've got to say i mean I, i'm i was i'm quite re-energized with this break you know the international break has for me personally because I was getting really fed up with the football mate I was getting fed up with uh, struggling to hold on to any points uh, um, this murmuring amongst the fan base turning against Nuno as if it's everything that's happen happening right now is down to what Nuno did no he's had to pick up the pieces of the bullshit that we've been doing for the last 18 months you know um, that's led us to this situation but to say that the fans aren't behind won't be behind the place for this final push. I don't think it's the case at all. But what Crypto just touched on and what the players have been doing or certainly been told to do, um, it's about time we saw the players putting that shift in, you know, because that's been one of our main criticisms that we're, it feels like some of the players don't give a shit, you know, and it's you've seen that in the play. So I hope they stick to what they, they've been told to do and it, we see it on the pitch. But there's no doubt from my point of view that the fans are behind it. And I, I agree with Rich. I, this should be the worst time to play us, but we're Forest and we know from ourselves that we don't seem to take advantage of the, these situations. You know, we the way we got out of uh, trouble last season was miraculous to say the least. And yeah. I don't want it to have to go to that stage. We got two very winnable games at home in the space of... Was is is Bolly injured? Is Bolly injured? We don't know. I don't think we he don't is. Know, but, um, I don't know, I'm not is. too concerned about Bolly not being able to play tomorrow if he can't play tomorrow. Really? Um, I was, I, I was yeah, going to say, if Bolly's injured, I'll take back everything I just said. No, because <laughs> I think... <laughs> no, because I think... Don't was not a manager. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think obviously if Bolly's uh, fit, you know, it's Bolly and Marilla for the rest of the season if we can keep them both fit, ideally. But that's the one position where I think, you know, we have got back up there. We have got Omar Bamadeli, who I think is more than capable. Felipe, yeah. he's been mm, not so great, but we also got Niakate as well. So we have got players that can fill in that right. Who would you go with, Ez? Who would you go with if uh, Bolly's, if Bolly's not fit? If yeah. Bolly's Chat, not who fit, would I'd you actually... go with? Write the names in. Go on. I would actually go with um, Omar Bamadeli. Um, yeah, I, so he, he's one for the future, and we're good. Listen, we'll, we'll, I don't know if we're going to have the Murillo chat today, but um, we'll, we'll have it at some point. Um, we need to kind of focus our energies on Amabama Delhi, I think, uh, if we're going to potentially lose Murillo for next season. So, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not worried about that being a situation, but the, yeah, the players have got to show something tomorrow, you know, and like I say, it doesn't take much. Us, us fans are behind the players, you know, it can be a hard tackle. It can be, uh, you know, a, a goal line save. It can be anything to get us off our feet, but we need to see that tomorrow and they need to set yeah. the tempo in the game as well, you know, from right from the start. Um, I hope they're refreshed after this break. I certainly am. Uh, and I, I know the fa a lot of the fan base are because we were all getting to that stage, weren't we? We were getting, it was getting forest depression, as you've called it in the yeah. past, you know. And um, um, let's hope we're, we're revived out of it. it. And let's hope it is the worst time to play forest from a opposing fan's point of view. And what are you saying? Are you upbeat about tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, like Ez, I'm kind of. Am I on my own here? Is there anyone in the chat who's worried about oh, tomorrow? Right. Yeah, but you were worried. If you remember, I had to give you a pep talk about West Ham that you wouldn't accept. Yeah, yeah but, <laughs> yeah, but the, the thing is, the thing is, look, I've been. 
I can't say I've been Which lying. Like no, I can't say like I've been that. lying. But Chris from Forest All Over, I messaged him exactly why I said what I've said. I'll reveal it after the game what I said, right? But I'm not to kind of just understand that. But sorry, Ant, go on. Yeah. Uh, look, I like Palace, and they're not an issue for me. That's but true. I think we have a better. I think we have a better <laughs> side than they've got especially with us being at home, I think is a massive advantage. We should have the spur of the points of deduction also. We have a fantastic... I mean, Palace support is fantastic, but they're not at home. We are. So that gives us that advantage without any doubt. And we only concede goals by stupid fucking free kicks and set pieces. Mm. So if they don't... Rich informs me that they're not very good at set pieces and... Are you crap at set pieces as well, Rich? Or is it just corners? Predominantly corners, but I just put. I'll take that. I'll take that because it. All yeah, rubbish. So, <laughs> so if they're bad, that really gives me even more encouragement to think that we shouldn't let them score again. Mm. Yeah, but and doesn't that worry you more? And I, I look at that as the pessimist of things. Charity <laughs> FC roll in when a team hasn't had a corner goal since Vieira, yeah, know, man. Know, does that not worry that. you? That's my that. problem, that's man. That. You always have to say that. Yourself. Saying if they're bad that. like saying if only you had Andre Ayew starting for you instead of Jordan. <laughs> Oh yeah, God! Definitely weird. No, no I, 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 I accept that you know it, it does Wolfie's seem horrible. that we give teams a, a, a lift when they need one. But you know, overall, if they're if they're poor at the one thing that we're because apart from that, our defense is good. If you yeah, actually I mean, look at how many goals we concede from non set piece situations, they're very good. And so the ones that aren't from. Is, I'm sorry, the ones that aren't from set pieces are from mistakes that we cause, giving the yeah, ball away yeah. on the edge of our box, you yeah. know, and things like that, you know. So if we can cut out so, our own mistakes, mate, we that's half a battle yeah. done. So, so I, I'm quite happy to have um, Murillo and Bolly as the two central defenders. If Murillo is not fit, I'm quite happy. Sorry, if Bolly's not fit, Bolly. I'm quite happy for Bamadeli to come in. Not because of, as Ed says, you know, he's the few. I don't give a shit about next season. You know, we've got to be in the Premier League. I'm bothered about what happens now. So I want the best man for the job now. And at the moment, and, I was saying that if, it's Bolly, but Omar Bamadeli is very, very good. So I have no, like Ed, I have no worries about him coming in. Yeah. Uh, it's one area that we're, we should be okay at. I don't know why everybody's laughing. Wait, <laughs> It's not even our elephant in the car. It's not even near it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Elephant it, Castle's you, nowhere man. near it. What are you talking about, Gordon? <laughs> <laughs> but I, Elephant, I just, Elephant I to... Castle is a shell, though, isn't it? <laughs> I had to read shell. that like two or three times to think. Wait, hold on. Has he really <laughs> said that? <laughs> Hey, listen, listen, Rich. It's not as bad. Geography is not London as specialist subjects. I wouldn't, I wouldn't laugh too hard. I remember I was in, I was in um, Covent Garden. We were chatting these two girls up, and we said we're from Nottingham. She went, she was a Cockney. She says, "Oh, that's near Newcastle, isn't it?" I thought, Fuck it Did you have a beard or not, Ant? Did you have the beard or not? That's the question. <laughs> not in them days, mate. It's taken me thirty years to grow this one. <laughs> <laughs> Question anyway, yeah, so I'm quite happy uh, with the defense, whether it be Bolly or I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a can, day. Can we, can we just give a shout out because I think we're missing a player here who's going to be massive tomorrow, which is Nico Williams. Nico oh, yes. Williams has yeah. been yeah. on yeah, form yeah, for yeah, club and country. did you say he's missing? No, no, no he's, he's, oh. on, he's on point. You've been I'm impressed with him, Rich. Yeah, I've always liked him. Yeah, I have, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's good. Uh, yeah, but yeah, all right, it's, 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 it's for this season, second part of the season. Say, super. If Williams was out as well, oh, okay. <laughs> no, same yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm saying he's going to be what he's going to be one to watch tomorrow for sure. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm so that, that is what? true. Yeah. Elephant and Castle's roundabout. Oh, god damn it, oh, man. It's such, yeah. a, it's such an awful place. It's so I know, yeah. I was gonna ask, Rich, you're gonna ask a question, God. Yeah, what do you look like against a press? Because that's what Glasgow is trying to get us to do. It's to press more. As, as long as long as we don't make any mistakes, which is uh, unlike Forest, then we'll be fine. <laughs> no, we're not good against the press. I would say. No. <laughs> what I think happens them. when we get pressed is that they panic and just punt the ball forward, and they then panic. eventually yeah, we yeah, drop yeah. deeper and deeper. Uh, we were, not, yeah, not, yeah, many but we... Press, really. not many teams do properly press. Really, 
no, and when they did it was and when they did it was because we had Turner in goal. I don't think we've got yeah. that danger anymore. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you, it's because we don't control the midfield. It's keep starting Yates. We need to control Agreed. the midfield. Yeah, but that, that that's because the midfield, midfield should be Sangare and Dominguez. That's why. Yeah, it, sh it should it should be, but it's not, and that's where the problem has been every game. Is hey, Simon, have some, <laughs> have some respect. <laughs> no, he's it's true. It's, it's true. Not, he's not far off, mate. It's, it's true. true, man. It's true. They don't know what's outside <laughs> the M25. Do you know what? It's not as yeah. dumb as Americans. I saw this uh, this mm. clip years ago. When the Iraq war was on, and they were asking some kids, oh, God, uh, yeah. "Do you know where Iraq is?" Um, and and they showed them a map of America, and they were pointing it out on America, thinking Iraq yeah. is in America. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, up. it's shocking, yeah. Any, yeah. Yeah. Anywhere, anywhere like, Central Americans, the north, Londoners are bad. <laughs> no, no, Rich, you can't defend that, Rich. London, I lived there years, <laughs> man. Londoners don't know anything outside the color of the tube lines, man. Seriously. <laughs> Well, you said you lived there, so you're talking about yourself, man. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> they think, that, for example, they think Nottingham is up north. No, we're Midlands. Yeah. We're not north. That's because it's, yeah. it's, it's past the North Circular run. Anything yeah. above I mean, the North Gap. Circular. Gap. Watford Gap. Yeah. 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 To be fair, it's, it's north of London. Watford, so, you know. that's quite yeah, far. that's the line. <laughs> north of <laughs> London. Yeah. Give them a half mark. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Rich, let me ask you this, right? Hearing everything you've heard, yeah, are you more or less confident about tomorrow and getting your magical um, point that you're trying to get away with? It's, 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 I'm still, in, it's just a tough one. Uh, like I said, I'll be happy with a point. I'm, I'm not expecting a win. Let's just say that. Are you playing for a point tomorrow, Rich? Is that? I that be not in charge. Glasgow won't set us up to draw. No. Roy, Roy would have. <laughs> I mean, mm. Roy would have set us up to not concede more than two goals. That's what he would have done. Um, yeah, good, Roy, good Roy would like, have. he set us up to lose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, yeah. 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 Glasner, right, well, let me going to go out to win this game. That's his mentality. Let, I want to ask Rich this because Glasner was linked to Forest. But while Absolutely. I do ask, absolutely. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Rich. <laughs> while I'm asking Rich about his thoughts on on Glasner, right? Guys, Palace are one of the only teams, one of two teams that haven't beaten Forest since we've been back, excluding the newly promoted teams, right? Why Why Who's the up? other team that Forest have not lost to, not including the three that came up? Let me know in the chat if you know the answer to that. And as I, I haven't jinxed anything, so shut up, right? Yeah, well. No. We still so get the answers in team. there if you can figure it out in the chat. But go on, on Glasner, because he was heavily linked to Forrest. It was between him, Nuno, and Lopetegui for us. And you had the same names linked in. Are you pleased with what Glasner's brought in? Because he's been very down, um, almost down to earth in some of his answers. Not a miracle man, I'll just do what I can do kind of thing. Is that what you wanted? You know what? He's been very positive. Very, very positive. He has... Um... He immediately said, listen, I, I don't play football games to, to, to draw it. or to not lose. He yeah. says he plays to win. He said, um, yes, defeats happen. That's fine. But if you're playing to win and lose, at least you've given it a go. And that's all we wanted to hear. Um, even with, um, he's constantly asked about Elise being not being fit and injuries and injuries. And, and he's just like, well, I've got a squad for a reason. It's down to me to make the squad better. Mm. And, and he's just saying all the right things, you know. Even like when we drew against Luton, and you lot can understand because we both conceded late goals against Luton, um, he was like, Look, the players are disappointed. It really sucks that we didn't win this game, but we did everything we can to win. And we did. We just missed chances. You know, so Gl Glasner, we, we see shape, we see an identity, we see what the fullbacks are trying to do. We no longer have like out and out wiggers because they're now inside tens. We've got two inside tens now. Um, and he's made Mateta better already, so I can't complain at all. Yeah. I, I don't know, but the chat do know their stuff. Well, a couple of you know oh, their stuff. The correct know. answer is Chelsea. Well yeah. done to Anan. Well done to Darren. Well done to D. Well done to Josh. Well done to Georgie Boy. He called them by mm -hmm. the right name. And well, mm -hmm. look, even a Toon fan knows the answer, and you guys don't know it. Come on, come on. Some of you are getting it wrong. And yeah, it wasn't Burton Sharkey. Come on.
Okay, <laughs> let's get the score predictions in. Chat, get your predictions in for this one. Crypto, kick us off. It does say 69 now. Is he frozen? He looks frozen to me. He does look frozen to me. Oh, yeah. He He's back. I'm back. Ben? Crypto? All right, go score predictions. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, yeah. My score, score predictions for me, I'm going to go uh, uh, 2-1 Forest. That's so like... Am I frozen? 2-1 Forest. That's just so... It's winnable. Uh, it's winnable. It's, winnable. it's so okay. what? It's, it's just what like if someone what thinks their team's going to win, really they cool. always go 2-1 because yeah. they always give yeah. the other team a goal just in case so they can cover their backs and yeah. that kind of thing. It's predictor league settings, the team man. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving the other team a goal because we're shit at defending set pieces. Um, yeah, but they're shit at I'll taking probably them. say 2-2, two, two, actually. <laughs> we'll probably concede more than one goal. I'll go 3-2. Three, 3-2. Three, two. Oh, three, God, two. it's gone right. right. And what are you saying? Um, yeah. Am I free? Yeah. Am I mean, free no, my that? initial thought on yeah. the predictor league was, was to put... What? No. Was, no. To put down, was to put down 2-1. But then I thought, no, fuck it. 2 1, like you say, that's the like edging your bet score. So I've gone 2 0, Forrest. So what happens if Palace score? You're going to be pissed off. <laughs> well, I'll be pissed off anyway. <laughs> yeah, but if we win 2 1, it will taint it slightly for you. That's will, what I'm saying. Uh, slightly, slightly. I'll be devastated. <laughs> Predictions be all and end all for Ad. Oh. Rich, yeah. Rich, what are you saying, Rich? 1 uh, 1. He one wants one. that draw, doesn't he? He wants, he that, wants that point. No, He's I, not I, I even like that. hinting at a win for Palace, <laughs> man. No, I'm, I'm just being realistic. I, we, we just don't win at your ground. We get penalties and miss them. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been about seven or eight years. Granted, we haven't played year in year out, but it's been a mm. while since I can even remember a Palace win at the City Ground. Um, are you just saying flat out you don't think there's a chance Palace can win because you were quick on that one one? Are you just saying like no chance? I've had I don't think we will. If we do, happy days. But if you do, we're that. coming for you. <laughs> yeah. One tell, says, tell you you've got no chance of winning. Yeah. yeah just I'll, I'll get all these lots on sub. Yeah, all these lots. Don't mess it around. <laughs> one one final shout tomorrow. out. We're yeah. all on <laughs> right, guys, everyone quickly subscribe to Eagle Eyed Football. The link's there for you. If we lose unsub straight away <laughs> all right but go and sub so that you can unsub first okay abuse rich in the comments yeah, yeah. i want to I see rich gets a 2k yeah and if we beat him then stay subbed maybe for a week all right as and you know what, so you know our, our match reaction will be on we always do it the day later to have a time to reflect on the game and stuff so it'll be on sunday either between 5 or 7 p.m so you can always come and gloat and and rich isn't a pussy like jimmy rich isn't a pussy he won't block you in the comments yeah so you can go and give him hell jimmy yeah, even we're blocked in jimmy's you know chat rich bring your popcorn to do that if um, you exactly what i was gonna say we'll bring the popcorn <laughs> you rich, we will bring a popcorn my prediction i'm gonna i'm positive with aunt you know i'm i Two nil was what I went for in the predictor league as well. So I'm gonna. Oh, God, he's replaced me. <laughs> Wait, hey, you got such an echo, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I've heard on stream. Uh, got, got he's got a stream on in the background. Sorry, I'm back. Wait, who's um, missing? Okay, yeah. What? Yeah, I, I cancelled yeah. it. I cancelled it. Uh, go, go, go on, sorry. Okay. Yeah, no. So I'm gonna go with Van. I'm gonna go two nil. And 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 are we sat together tomorrow? Because uh, every time we concede uh, a goal, man, I can't be bothered with the effing and jeffing I get from from the left of me, man. When Ant's up there, so uh, hopefully we don't concede a goal. Two 0 comfortable win, great atmosphere, and and <laughs> what <you're> about, <laughs> <laughs> mate? Honestly, honestly, as soon as we concede, as soon as we concede a goal, it's the end of the world for Ant. Honestly, so but as long as we well, don't that's concede... surprising to be, considering I'm an Arsenal fan, isn't it? You know, what I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean but, yeah, but, Ez, if you don't want to hear the effing and jeffing from your left hand side, why don't you sit in the left seat and then at least, yeah, but right that, the other side's uh, other side's bloody Nathan, isn't it? So it's just as bad. A group. <laughs> And, and I'm fasting, guys. I'm be out sweets. I'll be fasting tomorrow. We'll be handing out sweets. I'm just like, yeah, none of that. Ah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's it. That's the real reason. You know, I you're going to be on the severe temptation. Yes, yeah, so I'm not bringing a flask tomorrow. You're not getting a hot drink at half time from me, anyway. So, no, that's uh, all right. I'll bring two. 
Uh, I'll go for a comfortable 2 0 win. Um, yeah, and it's, I want it to be comfortable. I want the fans to be behind it. Give us something to shout it. about tomorrow, players. Yeah. So, yeah. What, what's this? Tomorrow. What's this in the chat that Rich looks like Lionel Richie? I'm not seeing you know it. What? I'm not saying that. Hello. Um, Chris from Leicester to I Die was saying that all our season as well. <laughs> you ain't got the PB perm, man. It's not. It's not there. Yeah. Do you sing like? Do you sing like him, Rich? Oh no Ooh. chance. No. <laughs> oh, <they're... laughs> Are we not going to get a couple of uh, lines from hello? Hello. <laughs> 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 it's gone off you. But let's hope. You know what he'll do when he shows his missus? He'll he'll dub in Lionel Rich over the top of that bit. So you see, I can sing, darling. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Crypto. <laughs> what are you doing, man? You're giving <laughs> like you're giving everyone <laughs> sickness. Man. All right. On that <laughs> note, listen. It's been a really enjoyable stream, Rich. I want to thank you for putting up with these twats. Um, ah, nice. No, it's, uh, it's always fun. And, and the yeah. panel. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. <laughs> 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 appreciate um, it rich I, I i will say though guys listen i i hope you don't stay up i really do as, as well as us. obviously not in our expense but um <laughs> yeah. i do hope you stay who do you up. want down rich who do you want down yeah Everton. i was gonna ask you that Everton. serious yeah i've always yeah. wanted them down i can't stand it <laughs> uh, if it's between there's you and chance, Luke, there's every chance as well who, chat, who do you want down quickly? I have Everton. Who's still at Everton, Brentford, and Luton? Luton Let's say they're Everton. the three. Who, who do you want down, Ben? Out of those three? Uh, I want I want Brentford down. Mm. I said Brentford at the start of the season, so I'm sticking with my guns. Because I just think yeah. Ivan Ivan Tony hates his club so much. I think it's pathetic. <laughs> I've seen I've seen crypto space backstage. <laughs> yeah, it's so zoomed in, isn't it? Who do you want, Ant? Who do you want now? You know, I, I, genuinely, I'm not that bothered. Honestly, uh, I'm not that bothered as long as it's not us. <laughs> you know, I don't have a real preference. Um, I'm think if I think about next season, who's most likely to give us less trouble? I would say if Luton stay up, they're not going to give us much trouble next season, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Brentford, probably. So I I don't want to say Everton, though, because I like Mike. So I'll go Brentford. Brentford. Get rid of Brentford. They're, no, they're a nothing team. You don't can't copy anything. me. Get rid. What are you saying? There's loads well, of Luton not... and Brentford. Not many Everton in the chat. Yeah, not to turn into an echo chamber, then. But I think, yeah, we'll, we'll go for Sorry Mike Part 2. And uh, I love Everton going down, mate. Because they're going into a new stadium and stuff like that. The worst thing that can happen to them. You know what? <laughs> they, they had no thing is, And they turned on us as well after I this PSR thing. So, yeah, for turning on us after the PSR thing. When yeah, but we were, did call them cheats when we played them. <laughs> you, <laughs> them. you did. <laughs> no, the whole stadium sung it. We talking about <laughs> To be yeah, fair, so most we'll, Everton we'll fans that I've down, seen yeah. of, of like they're in solidarity. Yeah. They're bound to be, aren't they? Really? Yeah. You know what I mean? We shouldn't have any no, points I, at all. Yet. I agree. I think the stance is quite simple. Off the pitch, we hold hands, we unite as the 14. On the pitch, of course, we want to finish ahead of them. I don't think anyone would begrudge any. I'd expect the Everton fans to say the same thing. All right, listen, we've overrun by Miles as always. We'll be back tomorrow for the watch along. As far as, like please don't do a forest. <laughs> please don't do a forest. Make sure you've hit the like button. We're nearly at 150, so do hit that like before you leave. Rich, it's been a pleasure as always. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Come on, you Reds.